Hey guys, Vermont Prepper here, and I just wanted to go over how to sharpen drills using the Drill Doctor 750X. Now they have a couple models here, uh, Drill Doctor. They have the 500 and the 750X, and I think the difference is, is that this 750 sharpens up to either 5 8 or 3 quarters, where the other one does not. I think you have to get an extra attachment for it. In any event, I got the 750X. I just got it in. And I was sharpening the drills wrong. These things were really bad. And here's what was happening. I wanted to sharpen my drills for 135 degree angle. There's two angles in a drill. Prevalent angles. 135 and 118 inch. And the drill doctor, can you, you can set them up for both. But adjusting it... Uh, was quite a chore for me at least. I mean, there might be people that know how to do this thing in their sleep, but not me. So here's what was happening. You see that drill head? Almost flat. Absolutely horrible. So after going through a number of videos on how to sharpen, uh, some you know YouTubers did the drill doctor, but none of them showed how to do the 135 degree angle. And the manual for this thing actually sucks, I think. But I found out uh, through probably a couple hours of research uh, between the people on YouTube dr uh, doing, th doing this as well as Drill Doctor's site that there's a special, there's a setting here on your alignment. And you can see this alignment right here in the middle shows 118. And they say each of these notches represents 10 degrees. And that's in the manual. So you see plus right here and minus right there. So you would say, okay, this is 118. This is 128, 138, 148. That's sort of common sense, right? Well, they each represent 10 degrees. And this one would be 108, you know, 98, etc. It's not how it works. Basically, if you just listen to this, there's a notch right here just to the right of the 118, whatever that might be, that's where you need to set your aligner to go right into that notch for 135 degree angles, and it will sharpen it perfectly every single time. Uh, that was the key for everything. And, you know, I just choose to sharpen all my drills 135 because it's a more aggressive uh, cut and you know 135 is used for hard metals which I seem to be doing a lot of drilling into metals right now particularly stainless steel and uh, for various projects and that's what I just choose to just do all of them so uh, after going through a bunch of research this is what I found out and it will actually sharpen perfectly every time so we're gonna take this we're gonna take another another uh, drill that I kind of already got set up in this chuck right here and you see these two notches one right here and there's one on the other side these are the notches that go a line in here and it doesn't matter which side you do all right so you want to do it just to the right of 118. So to do that, you just see it right there. Stick that sucker in. Okay, that's just to the right of 118. Now, the second thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your drill actually you press this down, that opens up these jaws right here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And then you don't want it to, you, you have to do something special with these jaws. You see they're kind of wide right now. So you have to kind of turn the drill from the back. You don't, you don't tighten it, the chuck right away. So you, you turn the drill until these jaws actually catch fully. You see that? And this drill will not move if they're catched fully. 
like that without these jaws opening again. You'd have to really force it to do that. All right. So the other thing that uh, I found out was that you see this stopper, which is right here. This stopper, it's a, it's a bolt actually. You adjust it with this knob and plus means that you want a more aggressive cut. They're going to take off more material and minus means just the opposite, right? So I had mine for the most aggressive and that was the wrong move because what it does is it takes off the point. You don't want that. So you want to, what I did is I had it fully aggressive and I backed it off a couple turns. Not, not a heck of a lot. You see, there's only a, a really small gap in there between the stop the uh, black stop right here and the bolt all right so very small gap and then what you do from there once you have your drill lined and it and the jaws are catching the drill perfectly you tighten this right and this is going to tighten your drill in there and then now we're all set we're ready to start your drilling and so what you're going to do I'm going to try and get a good angle here you see this white notch and you see this right here this little stainless steel uh, marker you want to start right there and you want to do even turns right so usually it takes about 30 turns to sharpen the drill hopefully maybe it's smaller it's not going to take as much so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a split point and a split point is done through right here all right and you line up your white notch with you see that notch right there with that notch right there and then you turn it 180 degrees and you do it again and you just push it in you don't turn it you just push it right in it's only it only could go in one way so you can't really screw it up so I wouldn't worry about it all right so I'm gonna make a split point and the split point for those of you who don't know what a split point is and this is all new to me too um, you see that little uh, looks like a gouge out of the side there that's your split point and the split point is, and this is a properly sharpened drill, so you see the difference between that one and the other one. The split point actually makes it so that your drill does not walk when you start it, right? Sort of keeps it in, in place. And that's what you're going to do. And you need to do that on both sides. Now this is one of my um, cobalt drills that I've been using to drill metal with and cobalt is the hardest uh, material that or one of the hardest that you use to drill with all right so we're gonna turn it on there's a switch back here and my notch is lined up you see the white notch right there and we're just gonna turn and you hear it taking off material I think that's four. We'll keep going. But you keep going until you find that you don't have very much noise, right? And usually it takes about 30. I'm hoping this one takes less. I don't, I, I don't do that fast forward junk, so you just have to bear with me. One man show here, videoing and doing this at the same time. It's a skill. It's an art. And again, it's for 135 degree angle. And you see right here, it says 135. So that's another adjustment that you have to do is make sure that the grinder is set for 135. It's really easy once you get it set up. Super, super simple. All right, you can see that it's uh, pretty much done there. Now, we're going to align 
And do you see how the white notch is aligned with the uh, metal notch? And you're just going to push in. And hopefully you can see the drill go in there. I don't think you can see it. So you just push it in. Then you take it out, turn it 180 degrees. There's another notch on this side. And you push that in. Okay, that's that. And look at how beautiful that came out. You see the little split point there. Hopefully you can see it through the contrast. Perfect 135 degree angle. Doesn't get better than that, guys. This is a great machine once you get it properly set up. And hopefully this video was informed, uh, you know, it informed you on how to do the 135. This is the only one that you're going to find. And believe me, I searched. And the key is this notch right here. You put it right into that notch, just to the right of the 118. And you make sure your stop is set up properly. This is how you open and close it. And then you just turn the drill from the back to... Make sure that the jaws are tight and that it doesn't move without really forcing it. And then you just uh, tighten your chuck and then you put it right in here and you turn like I was talking about before. All right, Vermont Prepper out. And uh, please like, comment, or subscribe. I always like to hear your comments. This one was a big accomplishment, at least for me, and hopefully uh, it'll work for you too as well. Okay, take care, guys.